Hello everybody. This is a short video on how to use frames in your electronics design to label where components are in your schematics and also use those frames to indicate on potentially a second sheet where uh, connections are made between different sheets. So for example, right here we have a resistor and we have a network and this network is connected to another network on the second sheet at position A1. So if I go to over here, you see now here in my area A1, I have uh, those two resistors connected. And ultimately, those connected connections are then also uh, pushed forward to your PCB design. So let's get started. Okay, so in order to start a new electronic design, we go here under File and start a new electronic design. And what I like to do before I save my design, I like to open a new schematics. And the reason is that if you open a new schematics before saving your electronic project, those two files will have the same name. So we can now go in here and click save. And let's call this frame example, for example, and click save. And then you will see now both of those files here have the same name. So in order to put a frame into your schematics, uh, maybe it is not uh, intuitive, but once you know it, it is pretty straightforward. Your frame actually is simply a symbol, just like you would import any other electronic component and you have to find it in a library. So if you look in our library files here for frame, you are likely to find nothing because we have not activated the appropriate library yet. So if you go into your uh, library manager and you look for frame, the library which typically will show up is this frames library here by Eagle PCB. So if we activate this library, we then can use it. And we have a whole bunch of, of different frames here now. And the one I like to use if you are in the United States and you have a letter size printer, is uh, this frame A landscape frame here. So double click and drag it into your schematics work area here. And I like to match up the corner with the origin of our schematics right here and simply click and then uh, confirm when you're done. And now you have this nice frame here, which also gives you uh, sectors of your schematics. And you have a couple of uh, fields here, which actually will automatically update. So we have already the, the title here is frame example. Uh, it is not saved yet. It will, oh, once we save it, update with the current date and time. And this it says here, here, this is sheet one out of one. So what I typically like to do, first of all, I don't like uh, this small title here and I don't like that it is high up. So I click on here and then if you go into the size, you can resize it, make it to 1.15 and also uh, orient it a little bit differently. Instead of bottom left, I like to do center left and you can see now this is nicely oriented. And if you want to add for example, a document number or some explanations here. The way to do so is go to document, text, and then we can give it a document number here. And we can place our document number somewhere here. And right now this is very small, so let me first increase the size of my text here. I guess I use the same 0.15. And we can place this text here. And the only Thing I still don't like about that, let me click done and highlight it, is that it is on the wrong layer. Right now it is on the net layer and I probably want to put this onto my symbol layer so it has the same color than my frame. So here we go. And then of course you can start uh, populating your schematics with components. So let me just put a simple resistor in here. And I like to use maybe a normal standard US resistor. So here does a through hole mount. And we can again double click to grab our 
component and we can place it somewhere in our schematics. And now what I want to do, I want to first actually acknowledge that I'm done with it. I want to go back to design and actually put a network on here because I only can connect those labels I showed you in the introduction to a network and not to a device directly. So I will simply put two networks here, one here and one here. And then if I take one of those labels here, I can connect those label, let's say, to this network here. Ah, and I should probably click on here to have this nice label here. All right, so we have a label here. And now in order to produce a second sheet, what I actually have to do, I have to expand the, the bottom part here of uh, Fusion 360 and then simply right click, new schematics. I have a new schematics and now I can enter a new component here. So again, start out with putting a frame in here and I'm going back down to my frame a landscape, double click and snap it onto the origin here and done. And then if I go over here to my sheet, now you can see that now I actually have sheet two of two. If I go to the first sheet, I now have sheet one out of two. So again, this automatically updates those fields uh, quite nicely. And now you can place a resistor into the second sheet here. So again, resistor. And let's just take the same resistor and place it maybe up here into our vicinity of A1. And again, we then have to put a label on here. No, nope, I first have to put a network on here. So here we have the network. Double click to end. Ooh. Double click. All right. And another one. Double click to terminate. And now I can could put a label onto here. And if you don't like the orientation, right clicking will rotate those labels around just like any other electronic symbol. And I can then place it, let's say, right here. And now I can say done. Now, the only problem I have now is that this label here indicates it is connected to network three, while the other label indicates it is connected to network one. Obviously, those two networks should not be connected on the PCB ultimately, so I need to change the name of one of them to, to match the other network. And let's change the N3 network. And the way you do so, you click name, you select this network, and we make this one a network one. Okay, and yes, we want to connect network three to network one. And now you can actually see, well, you can't, let me move this over. here, move this over, <clears throat> you can see now that network uh, one is connected to sector 4C on my second sheet. So if I go over here, you will see this one is connected to sector A1, and indeed this is C4, is where this network is located. So that is great. And then I can obviously start producing my uh, layout, so I'll switch to PCB. And now you can see here I have my two resistors and they are connected by one network. So I can then orient them on my PCB board. And after routing them, so let me just use the auto router here, continue, start, end job. Now those two uh, resistors have been routed. And if I push this to the 3D PCB, that I have a nice uh, 3D rendered PCB board, which I then can use in my design. One problem I have run into is that if you use the, the SparkFun library, 
and you use their frames. There are several fields in here which have pre-populated uh, values in it, and I do not know how to change those values. So if one of you knows how to change those values or figures it out, please leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, if this was useful, uh, click the like button and maybe even subscribe. And that's what I had. Goodbye.